Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Lord Nard in conversation with No Tail from Fnatic. Not many of you know, but this guy is one of the brains behind the game. He, he really is cool in the game. So we want to go ahead and pick his technical brain around it. What's good about the game? What's broken about the game? What's, what needs fixing? And what do you think about this whole, whole issue? I think, um, yeah, I think the, there's a lot more stuff that, is, that works in the game than there's stuff that, not, that doesn't work in the game. I've been playing Meepo for a long time, and that hero had a lot of issues. But that's just some technical stuff that's not supposed to be there. As far as how the competitive stuff goes, then um, there's not too much to be changed, I feel. There are some things I do feel are too powerful still, and it's been too powerful for a long time. But Dota is a game of countering, and there is not one hero, maybe aside from Wisp in the Western scene. Other than that, there's not really one strat or one hero that you, you would always say would win you a game, or would, yeah, 100% win you a game. Dota doesn't work like that. It's so much about decision making and countering and so on that you can always make it so that you have a good chance to win. So when you get into a game and you have uh, someone like Fly, who is your drafter, who gets into the game, how do you go ahead and say, do you, are, you, are you a good counter picking side? What do you suggest for new guys or even intermediate guys who are sitting out there? Do you, do you, are you, what's a good counter picking strategy or what's a straight picking strategy? Do you go ahead and analyze the game styles? How do you go ahead and do this entire thing? Because eventually, you know, you can get into situations where you'll just pick the heroes you like um, and that might not be like situationally correct. It's true, uh, the whole picking something out of your comfort zone, even though it's better. But I think here at TR3, that most teams came to the conclusion that you need to pick what you're comfortable with. And that's also how people lost games when they were pulled out of the comfort zone. It's been like that in Dota for a long time. But strong teams, it's hard to pull out of comfort zones if they're comfortable with a lot of heroes. But that's a big thing about competitive Dota, is what you're comfortable with. And we, and like that difference, difference is from what is best. What is best is not always best for you. So it's a balance, but you gotta keep evolving and you gotta keep looking at the strats and realizing what you might have to practice or what you might have to look into taking away from them, banning, so on. But it's a fine balance between what you're comfortable with and what is best, uh, what in theory could be best and so on. But yeah, I, I always think that you should pick something that you would enjoy playing. If you don't enjoy playing your hero, you're most likely not gonna do good with it. Great point there. And for that, we'll just have a follow-on question. So. That kind of naturally makes you assume that one of the best teams, some of the best teams, would be really comfortable with a lot of heroes. Now, is it about going and playing 200 heroes, or is it going and playing maybe you know those 14, which you know fit your style? I would say the sweet spot would be maybe around 30, hearing a hero pool of 20 to 30, because then it's hard for them to take away. They can't take away any hero then, but. It's not as simple as, as that either. There's there's a lot more smaller things into it as well. But yeah, having too few heroes will hurt you a lot more than having too many heroes, I feel. So if you yeah, if you're a new team, I would just experience new heroes all the time, figure out what you enjoy, sit down, figure out why the games that went good felt good, well why they went good and so on, and then look into that might be the heroes you enjoy playing. There you have it. This is the guy. This is the brain. He said it here. This is on Lord Nod. He's saying have a hero pool of about 20 to 30. Have something that you're comfortable with. Stay in your zone. And uh, basically have fun in the game and you're going you're gonna to be fine. This is Lord Nod signing off.